Hi, my name's Eric and I'm a teacher with the Ballarat Outdoor Education Program. And welcome to our online Ballarat activity. When you're at Ballarat, you really do types of activities that you can do at home. So whether you're at your house or apartment building or in a park near your house, you can do these activities at home. So one of the things that we always start with at Ballarat is a chance for everybody who comes to Ballarat to be a scientist. So what does it mean to be a scientist? Many of us think that it means to be in a laboratory with a white coat on, doing experiments, but really each one of us has the ability to be scientists. And all of you have an unbelievable uh, amount of uh, observations you can make right around your house. So today we're going to focus on making really deep observations and talking about them. When we think about an observation, we have different senses we can use. We can use sight, our nose, we can hear things, we can touch things. But today we were not going to taste anything unless it's your snack that you're eating at home. You notice you can't say something's name by using one of your senses. So we all know things, know names of things. So if I look around the neighborhood here, I can see that that's a tree, that's a snow pile, a parking lot, an apartment building. But that's not very scientific just to say names of things. What we want you to do today is to be able to look at something very closely at, around your yard or around the open space near your house and have an opportunity to really describe things like a scientist would. So we're going to communicate to ourselves about the observations we're going to make. We're going to ask questions about our observations and we're going to make connections with things we already know about. Hey guys, Josh here with Bellrat. I'm here to teach you about the first way that we as scientists at Bellrat can make observations and explore things. And that's going to be by talking about what we notice about objects. So the first step, like what Eric was talking about, is finding a space. The space that I chose is right here by my house. You guys can see I got a bunch of junk here and things like that. So I didn't have to go too far to find my space. You guys, just like he was talking about, can find a spot by your apartment building. You could go in your backyard or you could just find a little green space somewhere around you. But what's important is that you're going to find an object that you think is super cool and you want to explore. The object that I picked today is going to be this little object right here. Okay? And in just a second, I'm going to teach you guys how to make observations and talk about what you notice about your objects. Okay, so whatever object you choose, just make sure that you can get down close to it. So if it's something that you pick up off the ground, great. Or if it's something like my flower that you can get close to, that's great too. As I was sitting here, I could have actually chosen a couple other things that I see close to me. I could have picked that little green plant there, or actually as I was sitting down, I saw this little purple plant that is super cool. But for today, I'm just gonna pick this. And what you're gonna do is this. And I know this is gonna seem pretty weird, but you are gonna talk out loud to your object. And you're gonna tell everything that you notice about it, okay? The reason why we talk out loud is because our brain processes things a little bit differently inside our brains, than it does outside our brains when we talk it out. And if you use both of those, you can get deeper scientific observations. Okay, so for this activity, if possible, if you could do it with somebody that's in your house, like your brother or sister or cousin or aunt or uncle or mom or dad or grandparents, that'd be great. But if not, if it's just you, that's great too. And here's what you're gonna do. You are going to say, I notice, and then tell as many things as possible as you can about your object. So let's give it a go. So I notice, that this has little yellow leaves. I notice that it's kind of got like a cone shaped in the middle. I notice that when I look real close, there's got something growing in the middle. As I turn it on its side, I notice that there's kind of like a hole in between that looks into the center of that. I notice that these green things are really smooth and silky. I notice that they're cold to the touch. I notice that when I get close and I smell it, it smells kind of sweet. It reminds me a little bit of like honey. I notice that this down here is like damp a little wet, um, and I notice that this little green thing is poking out, okay? So in a second here, you guys are gonna pause the video and try it out yourself. You need to come up with 15 
different things that you notice about your object, okay? So go ahead and pause the video now and come up with 15 things that you notice about your object. All right, how did it go? Probably a little weird, right? Talking out loud to your object. But I promise you, the more you do this, the better your observations will become and the deeper things you will notice about your object. So Eric is gonna teach you the next step and how you can look at your object and make observations in a different way. Okay, students. Now that we've made some good observations with Josh, learning about how to use the sentence prompt, I notice, our next one is, I wonder. Scientists ask lots and lots of questions. In fact, that's what science is, asking questions. It's less about having answers and more about asking questions. So we're gonna um, give you an example of this little area that I noticed right outside of uh, the apartment. Uh, I've, I've made some observations, and now I'll show you how you can ask questions, Start, starting with the sentence prompt, I wonder. When I start looking at this little small amount of water, I have a lot of questions. So I'm going to say what I wonder. I wonder how long this water's been here. I wonder where it comes from. I wonder if it's flowing somewhere. I wonder if this mud down here seems like there's a little dam of a reservoir of leaves that is created and I wonder how that happened. I wonder how long this water will be here before it evaporates. And I wonder what kind of little microscopic insects might live in here if this is a I wonder if it's like a little miniature ecosystem. And boys and girls if you get stuck, say, I wonder, and see what comes out of your mouth, because very often um, our brains are asking questions before our mouths can even ask uh, with, our, with our voices. So it's time for you to go try it. Go outside to a, an object right outside of your door and try to come up with 15 things that you can say that you wonder about. And remember, you don't have to answer them. Just come up with those things that you wonder. Okay, how did it go? Did you have some great things to wonder about? That's what science is all about, asking questions. The next step of this process of making deep observations and being a scientist, we're gonna have Caitlin tell us uh, about the next step. Hi there, my name's Caitlin and I'm a Ballarat teacher and I'm here to guide you through part three. And our prompt for part three is, it reminds me of. What do we mean by it reminds me of? For this part, we've already made great observations. We've already asked lots of good questions, but now we're gonna start making connections. So connections between whatever object you're investigating and your past experiences. So your experiences, your personal experiences can be anything from experiences at school, with your friends, with your family, it can be at home, it can be a trip that you took somewhere new and different. Any and all experiences are open. So we're gonna make connections between your experiences and the object that you've chosen to investigate. But I'm gonna give you a few examples of some of the ways that I know that scientists use these connections. Um, so out in the Colorado wilderness, you might come across some of these plants, but some great examples are there's a plant out there that's fuzzy and looks just like a lamb's ear. So scientists called it lamb's ear because that was really easy for them to look at that plant and remember, oh yeah, that's what that is. Um, another example is there's a type of lichen that grows from trees, but it doesn't sit right against the tree. It hangs down and kind of looks like an old man's beard. So because that lichen reminded them of an old man's beard, they decided to call it that because it would be really easy for them to remember and show other people and share that discovery. So now we're gonna go ahead and try it out. And I'm gonna try it out first, and then you can try it out too, just like we've done with I Notice and I Wonder. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick my object and show you what it reminds me of. All right, so 
I've looked around and found the item that I'm really interested in investigating and I've already done I notice and I wonder so now I'm gonna do it reminds me of so just say as many things how I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say as many things out loud that it reminds me of and just keep saying them until I can't think of anything else so I would say that this cone the little scales on it these little pieces that are like little triangles remind me of little pieces of paper and they're kind of in the shape of little itty bitty mountains the color reminds me of the season of fall, one of my favorite seasons. There's also this sap on here that reminds me of this candy that I would eat when I was a kid called rock candy. This kind of different coloration splattered across the side here reminds me of splattered paint. And the shape of it kind of reminds me of a little Christmas tree. So those are all things that uh, the different parts of this pine cone, the connections that I can make to my personal experiences. Um, and some of those are going to be really specific to my experiences, like eating rock candy when I was a kid. And some of them be, might be more general, like the color, that brown color reminds me of the season of fall. Alright, so I'm all done, so it's going to be your turn next. All right, so you've paused, you've got your 15 things that your item that you're investigating reminded you of. I'm sure they're awesome. Now, it's time to explore more. Uh, there's nature everywhere, outside of your front door, in the backyard, or even in your home. Just think about all the vegetables and even fruits and things that are in your refrigerator, plants around the house. If you use, I notice, I wonder, it reminds me of, to make observations, ask questions, and make connections, you can really be a scientist and do what scientists do. So let's try it. Go around and find as many things as you can to describe 